Hey everyone, I'm Ruth. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be drawing a cat with pastel pencils and pan pastels. I'll be painting and underpainting with pan pastels, and then I'll be drawing the fur with pastel pencils. So, let's get right into the tutorial. I start by taping my paper to the surface and then I draw the basic sketch with my mechanical pencil. For this drawing I use pastel knot paper and it works really well with pastels. You can also draw on it with colored pencils, but it is pastel paper. When my basic sketch is ready, I start with the base layer of Pan Pastel on this cat, an underpainting, and it works really nice on the pastel mat paper. I just block in the basic color of the fur, and I use a Pan Pastel tool for this, a soft tool, and it makes it really easy to block in this basic layer. And I'm not paying any attention to detail yet, it's really just the basic colors that I'm blocking in here. And with this Pan Pastel underpainting, it makes it a lot easier to draw in all the fur because you already have a base layer on your drawing. So on the body I do the same. I paint in the base layer of the fur and later I'll go over that with my Carbothello Pastel Pencils. I already paint in some highlights. Just the basic colors of the fur. And here I use my finger to blend it all out, some more, and add some extra color, extra pigment. So when I'm finished with this base layer, I go in with my pastel pencils and I use the Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils for this drawing. And I start with the eyes. I also use a blending stump to blend the pastels out. For the eye I use black and some blue, yellow and brown tones to get this realistic looking eye. Then I start drawing in the fur my Carbothello pencils and I use various shades of brown and cream and yellow 
just building up the layers to create this realistic fur. I use my blending stump to blend all these colors out. And here I start with the other eye. And I do the same. I use black, yellow, green, cream color, and brown as well. And again, blending stump to blend it all out. And I use white for the highlights and also some blue. And for the shadows, I also use some gray tones. And for these first layers, I use the blending stump to blend these colors together. And later on, I won't be using it anymore because I will be creating some more texture and I want the hairs to be visible, so I'm not blending everything together anymore. So back to the eye again, some more black. And I noticed that this eye was a little smaller than the other one, so I decided to change it a little to make it a little bigger so that it would be in line with the other eye. And that's one of the nice things of working with pastels. It's really easy to correct mistakes or to change your drawing because if you want to change anything you can just go over it with pastel and it's really easy to change a mistake or correct a mistake if you want. So on to the nose. I use several colors various shades of pink and some cream color and just drawing in the basic colors later on I'll be drawing in some more detail and back to the fur on the head of the cat and again various shades of brown, yellow some white for the brightest highlights and on the nose the fur is very short so I draw really short lines almost dots and blending it out with the blending stump again And on the white fur, I don't only use white, but also various shades of grey to give it some depth and texture as well. And some more grey onto the white fur. Also to create some shadow underneath the head of the cat. And the body is out of focus, so I don't put a lot of detail onto the body. And I keep blending this out, so it will remain out of focus. Onto the ear. First I draw in the lightest color, it's the creamy color, and I draw in the hairs that grow inside of the ear, 
and I also use some light grey and pink color and then various shades of brown and yellow as well and on the head the fur is a little longer than on the nose so I draw in some longer lines and some darker brown on the face just to create this depth and blending it together and some grey onto the white fur and again I want the body to be out of focus so I just draw in some basic shapes and colors and I'm not drawing in any detail at all and onto the other ear I draw in black for the darkest shadow some more detail to the nose and some more grey into the white fur The pencil you see me use now is a Contea Paris white pencil. Now I go on with my cream color again. And some brown. And again the Contea Paris white pencil. And I use that to draw in the brightest highlights. And again the other ear, here I draw in the white hairs that grow inside of the ear and then I use some pink colors for the inside of the ear and cream colors. And black for the darkest shadow. and some more hairs that grow inside of the ear with my white carbothello pencil and some brown and grey tones as well and I draw in the markings with a brown pencil and then I use a cream color for the fur again and some more grey and I blend it out with the blending stump and again I'm using a lot of colors for this fur and a lot of layers to create depth and create that realistic look
some more grey on the white fur to give it more texture because I don't want it to look flat. Some more of the cream color in the fur. And again, I keep it all very basic on the body to get that out of focus look. Keep adding layers to the fur. Some more detail to the ear. And to the face as well. I use my brown pencil to create some more shadow and dimension to my drawing. And some more highlights. with my cream and white pencil and with the Conte à Paris pencil I draw in the whiskers. And now I use my cream pencil and add a layer of this cream color to the whole body. Because I really want the head of the cat to stand out and to keep the body out of focus. And I keep going in with my cream color and my brown and yellows just to create depth and get that realistic look. And some more brown to the face and grey to the white fur as well. And a little more of the cream color to the body. And some white as well. more detail to the nose and I just keep adding layers and fur until I'm happy with the result. And now I'm ready to take off the tape and this is the final 
results. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to get informed when a new video comes out. You can leave a comment down below and don't forget to share my video with all your friends. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you, bye!